Prince Philip has decided to stop driving at the age of 97, less than a month after he was involved in a collision that left two women injured, Buckingham Palace said Saturday. Prosecutors said they would consider the decision as they decide whether to charge the husband of Queen Elizabeth II over the January 17 crash. After careful consideration the Duke of Edinburgh has taken the decision to voluntarily surrender his driving license, the palace said in a statement. Philip was behind the wheel of a Land Rover near the royal family Sandringham Estate in eastern England when he smashed into another car on January 17. Philip had to be helped out of his overturned vehicle but wasn't injured. Two women in the other car were injured, though not seriously, and a nine-month-old baby boy was unhurt. Police said Philip and the other driver were both given breath tests for alcohol and passed. Philip was photographed driving again two days later without a seatbelt. Police said they offered him suitable words of advice. After that, Norfolk police confirmed Saturday that the prince had voluntarily surrendered his license to officers. It said an investigation file on the case had been handed to prosecutors, who will decide whether to press charges. The Crown Prosecution Service said in a statement that we review each file carefully before a decision is made and will take this development into account. In a letter of apology to one of the injured women, Philip said he was dazzled by the sun when he pulled onto a main road near the Royal Retreat, 100 miles, 160 kilometers, north of London. He told Emma Fairweather, who suffered a broken wrist in the crash, that I can only imagine that I failed to see the car coming, and I am very contrite about the consequences. The letter was published by a newspaper. There is no upper age limit for licensing drivers in Britain. Although drivers over 70 are required to renew their licenses every three years and tell authorities about any medical conditions that might raise safety issues, Prince Philip will still be able to drive on private roads at Sandringham and other royal estates despite giving up his license after a horror crash. The Duke of Edinburgh voluntarily surrendered his driving license just weeks after he flipped his Land Rover in Norfolk which sent two women to hospital. Motoring lawyers believe he may not be charged for careless driving because there is little public interest in bringing a costly prosecution if he has given up his license, according to the Sunday Times. But the 97-year-old will still be able to drive on royal grounds despite the woman involved in the car crash saying the roads will be safer. Emma Fairweather, 46, was a passenger in the Kia that was involved in the collision with the Duke's Land Rover last month. She broke her wrist in the crash and has said that the Duke's decision is sensible and the right thing to do, before adding that it was a shame he didn't make the decision sooner. A file has been handed to prosecutors who are now weighing up whether to bring a case against the Duke. A CPS spokesperson said, We review each file carefully before a decision is made and will take this development into account. Buckingham Palace confirmed Prince Philip relinquished his license on Saturday. The 97-year-old apologized for his role in the accident after his vehicle hit another car before landing on its side. Ems Fairweather told the Sunday Mirror, he's making the most sensible decision he can. It's a shame he didn't make it a bit sooner but it's the right thing to do. Undoubtedly the roads will be safer now. It won't have been easy for him to make as it is a loss of independence. But he can work around it. She also added that she has done nothing but cry this week after having an operation to screw a metal plate into her arm. Just two days after the crash, the Duke was spotted driving without the seatbelt sparking widespread backlash. A statement from Buckingham Palace said, After careful consideration the Duke of Edinburgh has taken the decision to voluntarily surrender his driving license. The retired barrister who pulled the Duke from the wreckage said he might have been overly cautious giving up his license. Roy Warren said, No one should be driving if they don't feel safe to do so however old they are but in the Duke of Edinburgh's case we don't have the full facts so it is very difficult to express a view. Mr. Warren who with wife Victoria helped free the royal and tend to the injured women driver and passenger, said, he's surrendering his license but maybe the accident wasn't his fault. We simply don't know. He's done what he felt was best and maybe he had been under pressure so I can't be surprised either way. But younger drivers are much more dangerous than older drivers. A Norfolk police said, we can confirm that the 97-year-old driver of the Land Rover involved in the collision at Sandringham on Thursday, January 17, 2019 has today voluntarily surrendered his license to officers. We will follow the standard procedure and return the license to the DVLA. 
The investigation file for the collision has been passed to the Crown Prosecution Service for their consideration. Witnesses revealed Philip was shaking and pleading get me out after his Land Rover crashed while he was out driving alone without a protection officer. He escaped injury but Emma Fairweather, 46, broke her wrist and called for Prince Philip to be prosecuted if found to be at fault. According to one eyewitness, the Kia, driven by a 28-year-old mother, deboned the Duke's car and ended up in a hedge with smoke coming from the engine. On January 21, Prince Philip sent her a letter wishing her a speed recovery and that he failed to see the car coming, the Sunday Mirror reported. The son was blamed for hindering his vision and he wrote he was very contrite about the consequences of the collision. He said he was deeply sorry and explained while he was familiar with the junction he could only imagine the low sun stopped him seeing her approaching. The Duke appeared to admit responsibility in a letter to Ems Fairweather several days after the accident. In his 181-word typed letter, Prince Philip wished her a speedy recovery from a very distressing experience. Two days ago. Norfolk police confirmed they were still investigating Prince Philip's crash on January 17 when his Land Rover rolled over after being hit by a Kia. The accident happened as Philip pulled out of a side road onto the 60 miles per hour limit A149 road. The Duke, who has given a police statement, could be charged with careless driving.